Were you by chance playing Sonic Mania and went, Oh man, this sure is a good game. I wonder if there's DLC. Only to check the DLC page and see two random characters named Ray and Mighty and went, Who the fuck are these guys? Well, I'm here to explain that to you in my own shitty way. Well, half of it, I'm not really talking about Ray today. Mighty the Armadillo was birthed and created by Manabu Kusunoki, I'm terribly sorry if I pronounced that wrong, as a companion for Sonic in the arcade game Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. The game was built around support for three players, and Mighty was built as... well, basically a copy for Sonic. The game plays from a top-down perspective, and you would use a trackball to control your character. It was developed by Sega's arcade division, Sega AM3, and the game was only ever released in Japan, though there's evidence within the files to prove it was going to be re-released in America to promote the Sonic Set AM TV show, with sprites of Eggman from said show. The game has never been re-released since, though it was reportedly in development for the Sega Genesis add-on, the 32X, and was heavily considered for the Sonic Gems collection on GameCube and PS2 but was cut due to difficulties emulating the game's trackball controls. In a perfect world, this game would be inside Sonic Origins Plus. Mighty's next appearance would once again be in a very obscure game, Knuckles Chaotix. Knuckles Chaotix started development as a game called Sonic Crackers, which featured gameplay of Sonic and Tails connected with two rings. The game would later be changed to feature Knuckles as the main character, and Sonic's character was quickly changed to Mighty. The game was actually fully released in the US, but just like Sega Sonic, has never been re-released on any other consoles. But after this game, both Mighty and the Chaotix would disappear for quite a while. Vector, Espio, and Charmy would return in Sonic Heroes, but there was no sign of Mighty anywhere. At this point, he's been showing up in the comics, but I mean, literally anyone can show up in the comics, and for 23 years, Mighty would just disappear, with his only cameo being in Sonic Generations on a wanted poster in City Escape. But what's even more funny is that they spell Mighty's name wrong. Instead of spelling Armadillo with two L's, they spell it with two D's. God, he just can't catch a break. His only appearance in years and they misspell his name. Come on, Sega. But finally... It was revealed that both Ray and Mighty would be joining Sonic Mania as part of the Sonic Mania Plus DLC. And oh my god, this was so crazy. We're now in 2023 and you can walk into a Target and buy a figure of Mighty the fucking Armadillo. That is insane. With Sonic Superstars around the corner, it's very possible we could see Mighty coming back once more. Though, I would like to see them bring back another classic character. We know Fang is in the game, but what if they added Sonic's proto-bunny design? I don't know, that would be cool, but I don't really see it happening. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have any, like, predictions or anything for Sonic Superstars, just drop them in the comments. I'd really like to see what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted to make a little video about, uh, Mighty, because he's an interesting character. Uh, and I just wanted to cover him real quick. Um, if there's anything I missed out on, please leave it in the comments, and I'll drop a heart if it's any interesting little tidbits that I missed out on. And, uh, thank you all for watching the video. Goodbye.